growing problem for those who live in Portland. Yeah, water levels are the highest they've been in four decades, and now some have been forced to leave that area. Brittany Taylor has the story. Good evening. It is a completely dire situation for the residents living along Job's Pond here in Portland. I mean, just take a look. What used to be a beach here is underwater. These are 12 sump pumps with residents' basements just completely flooded. A number of people have had to move out of their homes as a result of this, and officials say water levels continue to rise. On Jeannie Bishop's property, sump pumps have been running 24 hours a day for weeks. If one kicks out like it did yesterday, the basement starts to fill up. I have my meltdown. What was once a beach along the longtime Job's Pond residence home, now a watery mess. It's just really hard. Some days are better than others, and um, we need a solution. At least 19 residents in the area are dealing with water levels they haven't seen since 1984. From flooded basements to nearly submerged pavilions like this one belonging to a YMCA summer camp, the impact is extensive. At least seven residents have been forced to leave their homes. Veronica catches 15 foot fence unrecognizable. There's a lot of family gatherings here and now you're starting to think about what are we going to do in the summer? And my biggest concern is for those people that have had this, they live here permanently and they've had to move out. Officials say a large part of the problem is the rain. Portland has received 200% of their monthly rainfall. So 100% more than normal in a month. So we are in a wet cycle right now. It's coming. We've got about six inches, a half an inch a day. We know Senator Richard Blumenthal arriving in Connecticut Wednesday to tour impacted homes. The senator says he is pushing for relief aid from Washington. But as municipal and state officials work to find an interim solution, residents here remain unsettled about their property. We're just hoping that help comes soon. Now the Natural Resource Conservation Service is currently conducting a cost analysis on the impact of the flooding. That should be complete in the next couple of weeks. First Selectman Ryan Curley is also asking anyone that has been displaced to contact his office for support. In Portland, Brittany Taylor, News 8.